But we're not feeling too hot. If you guys are new to my channel, I am buying a house. Uh, just trying to score a good deal, you know? I have a new tour. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday morning. It is beautiful outside. But we're not feeling too hot. If you saw my last vlog, oh, it's hard to talk. If you saw my last vlog, you saw that I was getting a little sick. I think we're getting better, but um, yeah, it's time for it's time for the meds. I got the Portuguese meds from COVID when we got stuck with COVID. I tested negative, don't worry, but they're all like plop, plop, fizz, fizz <laughs> tablets. Brings back the memories of COVID in Europe. I have a little bit of cabin fever and I decided I'm gonna put on my mask and I wanna go to the Habitat for Humanity store. Um, I'm curious, I haven't been there before and it is near Goodwill, so maybe we'll stop at the Goodwill as well. And they um, collect like old furniture, old cabinets, like house building kind of supplies, so I'm curious what they have. It'd be fun to start flipping a couple pieces of furniture, especially with buying the house. If you guys are new to my channel, I am buying a house and I have all the videos coming your way about that whole process. Yeah, let's see what we can find. Maybe they have like, even just like supplies, like random tools or like shovels or I don't know, like what they have, extension cords, I don't know, random stuff that you need like for your house, you know? Uh, just trying to score a good deal, you know? So anyways, cheers. I also have a sale to ship out. Someone just offered me $24 for these J. Crew shoes. They are Dorsey. They're a Dorsey style heel with genuine calf hair. These probably retailed for like, I don't know, over $100. But they, but they are leather. And they're in amazing condition. The only flaw is a teeny tiny little dot there. So I probably could have held out a little longer and gotten a higher amount but again we're just trying to get some cash there's just a little bit of wear on the bottom but it's only been worn a couple of times it looks like so i'm gonna get that shipped out right now get that to the post office and let's see what the day holds I get some light bulbs.
is really cute. Is it better than the... It doesn't have like a ring. Yeah, it's missing. I could just see how that one has or a ring. This one. Those are so 80s. From Target. It's a mummy thing from Halloween. This is, this is funny. <laughs> this is funny. Is this like from the 50s? 50s or 60s? This is the Halloween one. Oh, this Okay, we just got back from the Goodwill. The only thing I grabbed was this umbrella for $3 at Target. I mean, from Target, from the Goodwill. New with tag. And then, guys, at the home store, look what I found. Do we love it? Do you guys like it? It's, like, definitely dirty and it needs to be cleaned. And then I need to figure out what the deal is with these wires. But this thing unscrews, like, the base unscrews from that pole. So I think I can just buy another bronze um, pole to the right length. I just, I don't know what height I need. Um, and then I'll probably need to get like one of those light kits and then just thread it through a new pole. And then, yeah, I just thought it was nice. I'm going to put this, I'll insert a picture, but I'm going to put this above the sink in the kitchen. Because um, right now there's one that's just like very basic from like Home Depot or something. I think it's just like nickel, like basic. Um, so I'm just trying to add like some charming touches um, to the kitchen because right now it's very white, white shaker cabinets, white backsplash, white counters, and um, just kind of add some like more interesting elements into it, you know, and um, I'm going to change out the hardware on the cabinets as well, probably to a bronze, and then I'm thinking there's a light above, one of those boob lights, above the, um, um, like in the kitchen. So I think I might actually put a ceiling fan in there because I don't have central air and so I think that might be a nice opportunity to have some ventilation and I can get like one of those cuter ceiling fans. I just need to measure my ceiling height and see um, <clears throat> and kind of see what options I have for that based on the height. But yeah, that's my idea for right now. So we're going to put that in the garage for right now and um, let's head upstairs. So I grabbed these. I grabbed two packs. There's four in each. These are 60 watt, 60 watt dimmable. I don't know what color actually of light these are. Oh, uh, warm. These are warm. So these would probably be good for a bedroom for a little bit of a calmer light. Um, but yeah, so eight bulbs, those were like $3 each. So like eight bulbs for like $6. So not bad. Ugh, you guys, after all of that, I didn't even go to the post office. Silly me. Let's see if we can catch them. It's like 12.30 on a Saturday, so I don't know if they close at 12 or at 1. I can never remember, but worst case, I won't be able to get those shoes out, but I have a small... The shoes are too big to fit in the mailbox thing slot, but the other order from yesterday I can fit in the slot, so that's fine. The shoes can wait till Monday, but I'm a mess.
All right, they weren't open, but I got the small item from yesterday in the slot. Get out of my way. It's been snowing and gloomy and everything, and so it's nice to have some sun. All right, it's lunchtime. Okay, just had some soup for lunch. Oh, the light in this office is annoying right now. I have a new toy. Let's open it, guys. Getting a new phone, so my vlogs are about to be upgraded. So I was at the Verizon store last week with my dad getting a new phone, so that's coming soon. Oh, look how fun. Um, yeah, and then, so I was getting a new phone at Verizon. I'm gonna get the 14 Pro Max, I think, so y'all, that camera is gonna be crispy. So we'll have nicer vlogs, better quality, and I need to get, um, I need to figure out my video editing software as well. My Mac is just too old to edit videos on anymore. Like, it's just too, like, the storage and, like, the speed of it. I need to figure out my video editing software. If you guys do YouTube, definitely let me know what you guys use for software, um, for free, hopefully, for right now, and then, um, I'll figure out, like, Adobe or something. I think my brother has, like, an Adobe subscription or something like that. So I need to figure that out because we need to level up these videos. Thank you guys for sticking in there with, uh, the lighting and the quality sometimes. It's, it's hard. It's hard to figure it all out and, um, Obviously working on a little bit of an older iPhone is not ideal and with my DSLR it's just not great with focusing um, and then the mics and all of that. So we're figuring things out. But um, when I was at the Apple store, it was $5 a month to get an Apple watch. So I was like, okay. And then with my job, I can get $500 off of fitness purchases every year. So they include like Fitbits and Apple Watches and things like that towards that. So I'm gonna use the part of that $500 towards the $5 a month for that. So it's basically a no brainer for me. And I was eyeing an Apple Watch anyways. Right now I have the Garmin, I think it's in the other room. Right now I have the Garmin Lily, which um, I got because it was small and I wanted something small on my wrist. I'm, I think the Apple Watch is gonna be a little bit big, but that's okay. It's basically free for me, and this is on the cellular plan as well, so, so I don't need the phone near the watch in order to use it, and I can just go like this for Apple Pay, I can um, take calls, talk into it, text, everything. It's basically like my phone, and it doesn't need to be near my phone. Um, so that's cool. And then after, so it was $5 a month for three years, and then after that, it's paid off, I guess, and then I could sell it or keep it or whatever. I don't know. I gotta figure that out. What model is this? This is the SE Starlight SE. Apple Watch SE second generation 40 millimeter. So I'm assuming this is not the newest one or the most fancy Apple Watch, but it will suit my needs, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't know. If you guys know anything about Apple Watches, let me know how you like to use them. And there's like a little tab here and what features you like and what you find convenient about them because I'm definitely looking for some tips tricks and uh, all that this is the actual watch I think yeah okay so it comes like this there's this little instructions this is the charger and yeah here it is so yeah, I got the like silvery color and then this is like that, what's the name of this color? Oh, it's called Starlight is the band color. Obviously the nice Apple packaging as always. It's nice to get something new sometimes, you know? We're really upgrading this year. Got a new car, new watch, new house, new phone. Shoot. All right. To attach band, slide it till you hear click. To remove band, press button and slide out. So yeah, I can always get different bands as I want. And I'm pretty sure this is completely waterproof, the whole watch. And then to choose a complimentary watch face, touch and hold the display. Yeah, so there's different like um, settings for the actual look of the screen that you can do. But that's cool. Also, I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but I convinced my mom to watch Lord of the Rings with me, and so we're gonna do that. So we're getting set up with that, and I'm shocked 
because we were talking about the Lord of the Rings show. Let me know your opinion on the show down below. Um, I was not personally a fan for a lot of different reasons. Not that I read the same Aurelian. I'm not a crazy reader like that. Okay, let me try and slide this in. Do we think this part goes on top or this part goes on top? Hmm. But yeah, so she's starting the movie right now. Okay, yeah, I think this makes sense. Not a bad size, honestly. I always kind of steered away from the Apple Watch because I thought it was a little bit big, but this should be okay. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on the Lord of the Rings show, Rings of Power. I really liked the costumes and the scenery, but the storyline was just too weird. And the Harfoots part was just too weird. Um, okay, so I need to hook this up to my phone and everything. How do you turn it? Is this thing on? How do you turn this on? I should probably read the instructions, but like that's boring. Yeah, there goes the movie. Open your band box. Follow the steps to attach your band to your Apple Watch. Put on your Apple Watch. Press and hold the side button. Okay, so it's, oh, it's turning on already. Nice. Bring iPhone near Apple Watch. Let's see. Mm-hmm filming on my phone obviously so I'm gonna have to cut iPhone near Apple watch it is it is so I'm gonna get this set up and go watch Lord of the Rings and have myself a sick day and I will talk to you guys in the next one bye Wizard is never late, Frodo Baggins. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to.